Hi there, thank you so much for joining me in the garden. Today I want to try and get on top of some pesky citrus pests. Let's see how we go. So I've got four fruit tree varieties in my backyard. A Lencia orange, a Lisbon lemon, okay. Imperial mandarin, which is the newest addition, and a navel orange. So on my citrus I've got just about every pest you can think of. It's the cottony cushion scale on the stems, red scale on the fruit, stink bugs that are sucking the life out of it, caterpillars, weevils, this mold looking stuff, and probably more. And to sort out these pests, I'm going to make some white oil. So what I'm using here is the cheapest vegetable oil I could find and the cheapest washing detergent oil I could find. I don't want to spend too much money on this stuff and these things are just as good. So everything I've read says one part dishwashing liquid to two parts oil. So I've marked on here where that might be. So let's fill it up. So what I'm roughly working on here is one cup of detergent, so two cups of oil. All you do now is put the lid on and shake it until it turns white. White oil. Now the solution you make is concentrated, so you don't want to spray it straight onto your plants like that. So they say to dilute about a tablespoon in one litre of water. Now, for small applications you could use something like this, but given I've got four citrus trees to do, I'm going to use this. Now if I were to put the concentrate in here first and then try and fill it up with water, being detergent I'm going to get a bucket full of bubbles before I get anything else. So I'm going to fill it up with water first. So as the sun sets, I realised that it was way too wet to spray the white oil on my trees. So in case it rains again tonight, I'm going to come back tomorrow, maybe the next day, and finish it off. Sun's out, the outlook's clear, let's get spraying. So my bottle's still full from the other day should be fine. Uh, I've got my white oil ready. Now they say one tablespoon per litre. There's eight litres in here and I know that I roughly need two of these to make that up. Let's pour it in. Lid on tight. Pump it up and away we go.
key is to get it on both sides of the leaves so that you don't have things hiding underneath. Um, something I've just noticed while I was doing that was that the navel orange has a lot less pests on it than the Lencia orange. It's interesting, I don't know if it's position on one end or the other, something might be happening there, or if it's just that species are more susceptible to pests and diseases than others. Um, but there's something else I want to do while I'm going. Now I noticed as I was going there's quite a lot of yellowing on the leaves, so I'm going to give them a feed up while I'm going. And then in the next couple of weeks I might give them a good trim to clean up some of their structure because they're quite dense in a few places and that's probably promoting a lot more pests because they can hide better. Another problem with citrus is the build up of bark around the base so I'm going to clear that away, give them a feed and they should be good to go. If anything, the trees smell great. Hopefully the sun doesn't burn them a bit with the oil, but uh, we'll see how they go. So if you can squeeze four citrus trees into your backyard like I have, obviously this is going to be a bigger job. The same thing applies if you've got a little lemon tree in a pot, um, or if you've got a bigger yard and even more citrus trees. I think this is a good general pest control that you can do regularly to keep on top of things like this. I know that white oil is good for sucking insects, um, I don't know how it'll go for some of the other bugs like caterpillars and things like that, um, the weevils, but uh, we'll see how they go. So thanks again for watching, I hope you've enjoyed watching as much as I've enjoyed making it. Um, please like below and subscribe to see more videos. I'd love some feedback so please comment below. This is my first ever YouTube video so please be gentle. Thanks for watching, we'll see you again soon. Happy gardening.